Hi there! Have you ever watched an artistic swimming routine and thought, oh, wow, I want to do that? And you decided to give artistic swimming a go, but you didn't know where to start. And since then, you have been in search for an artistic swimming YouTube channel, but didn't have any luck? Well, I have some good news for you because you came to the right place, and today I will be talking about seven things that you need to know before trying artistic swimming. After watching today's video, you will be ready for your first experience in the water. But before we start, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you never miss another synchro video and make sure that you share this video with your friends so they can also learn from it. But let's go back to the seven things that you need to know before starting your artistic swimming journey. The thing number one is water comfort. Before you start artistic swimming, it is crucial for you to feel comfortable in the water. Make sure you are a confident swimmer and comfortable in deep water because a lot of artistic swimming routines are performed in the deep end of the pool. For those of fear of deep water, floating equipment serves as a great aid. And this brings me to my point number two, which is floating equipment is your friend. Floating equipment like kicking boards, noodles or water canisters help beginner swimmers build their confidence in the water. It provides a sense of security and control which allows the swimmers to feel more confident in the water and overcome the fear. This approach is especially beneficial for those who are a little bit hesitant about learning how to swim or trying artistic swimming. The floating equipment is especially beneficial when we're learning the basic positions and also when mastering strokes and arm technique movements because floating equipment aids the swimmers with buoyancy and they do not need to worry about staying afloat. Additionally, the floating equipment is perfect for learning about your body and mastering the body awareness, which is especially important in artistic swimming during the more challenging skills. Now, I wanted to emphasize that learning correct technique is especially important since the beginning of your journey, so make sure that your technique is on point, which brings me to my another tip, which is learn correct technique. So as I mentioned before, mastering correct technique is a very important building block on your artistic swimming journey. Believe me when I say that artistic swimming is an extremely technical sport, despite its artistic nature, and athletes have to know different types of techniques and body positioning to to be the best in coming out of the water, they have to know how to use their arms and how to position them for the best possible outcome. Plus, you should add to this mix actual synchro skills, which is like thrusts, flexibility, rotations, and airborne weight, and so on and so on. And you will quickly see that learning incorrect technique will drastically hinder it your performance later on in your career. But I have some good news for you all. I have created a very digestible and self-paced and very well explained online synchro course for all artistic swimming beginners, no matter if they are athletes or coaches or parents. In this course, you will be learning nine different body positions and six different skull techniques for artistic swimmers that they all have to know. And additionally, I also included a body boost and egg beater tutorial, and you will have underwater shots and you will have out of the water shots and some explanation on land. And I think it is a very, very good course for all beginners that are very curious about artistic swimming. And I think that you should try it. So if you are interested, I will put the link down below this video in the description and you can have more information when clicking on it. But let's go back to the fourth thing that you need to know as an artistic swimming beginner. Practice outside the water. Practicing outside the water is the best way when it comes to learning new positions and scaling techniques. By practicing outside the water, you make sure that the time in the water is actually utilized efficiently so you do not lose any time in the water by practicing 
outside, so practicing on land. And the skills that you learn on land, like strength or technique refinement or choreography movements or positions, obviously flexibility, and there is so many more that you can practice on land and then transfer it in the water. It's just, I think, the best way to learn and the fastest way to learn. Additionally, Practice outside of the water or, for example, on land gives you an additional opportunity to practice. And, for example, even if the pool is closed if for maintenance or, I don't know, some kind of holidays, then you are still available to practice and you can still work on your synchro skills. So you do not have to wait to have your time in the water. Now, if you are struggling with coming up with exercises on land and you are still having some questions about that, this brings me to my next point, which is don't be scared to ask for help. You know, learning artistic swimming, like any other skill, comes with challenges. And it takes time. It is entirely normal to face some difficulties and, for example, some more challenging skills that you are maybe still not sure about and you kind of feel like you really need some help with this, then proactive approach with asking for help, it will dramatically speed up your learning process. And especially if you ask professionals or athletes that know already or have been in the sport for a while. And I am saying that because asking for help athletes or coaches that are already, you know, they have some experience, it will definitely help you along the way and you are not going to make the mistakes that they made and they will make sure that you have the correct technique and you are following the most recent changes and the most recent rules. So this is very valuable and very important. Speaking of which, do not hesitate to contact me on my social media or write a comment down below saying which skill are you actually struggling with right now and I will read the comments and I will definitely make another video trying to help you out. If you do not have anyone to reach out to or you are struggling to ask, make sure that you use video recordings. Video recordings have two major advantages. Firstly, it allows the athletes to receive an instant feedback on their performance even without the presence of the coach. By watching the videos, the athletes can spot some mistakes that they made during their routine or during the figure and they can spot the mistakes of their technique or body positioning or maybe there is something that they missed and they just noticed it. And I think this is a very valuable resource that all synchro swimmers, no matter actually if they are beginners, that they should use. Secondly, video devices allow and are a great tool for tracking athletes' progress. Because if they record their starting point and then they record the same skill after, let's say, two months, they will definitely see an improvement and this can serve as a huge boost of motivation and it will definitely help them in seeing how much they actually improved because sometimes we actually do not think about it or we do not actually know. Now, the last point that I would like to make in this video is to be patient. As I mentioned before, artistic swimming is a very technical but a very beautiful sport that takes time to learn and it takes time to practice, it takes time to understand and it takes time to make progress. So do not try to rush, do not try to compete against someone else like comparing one another because they might have a different journey than you. They might have started earlier than you. So make sure that you are patient with yourself and you give yourself time. And obviously you put an effort and you are dedicated to getting the results, but make sure that you enjoy the process and you have fun with it. So practice, make progress, and most importantly, have fun. I keep my fingers crossed for you. All right. There you have it, seven things that you should know before starting your artistic swimming journey. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you will keep those tips in mind before 
trying artistic swimming in the water and trying this beautiful sport out. If you found this video helpful, make sure you like, share and subscribe for more tips, tutorials and inspiration on artistic swimming. That's it for today. See you in the next video.